welcome back to the channel. Gonna continue on with the uh, MX-5. And I was just, uh, you should seen, I just got a new table. Uh, so I have a bit more space to work with. So today, gonna be uh, cleaning up the rocker cover on the engine, on the MX-5. And then, so we're just gonna sand it. And then we're gonna be using some VHT wrinkle paint on this as well. Uh, with just the same stuff we done on the engine block here. You can see it's got a lot more wrinkly since uh, last time. Uh, and it's gone, gone hard now. It's go all to uh, harden up because it was so cold in here. But uh, luckily it's kind of hardened up now. First off, just gonna take it off and put it on the table and then we can go ahead and start cleaning it up. got the cover off so to start uh, what we want to do is get this uh, sanded down to a nice uh, paintable surface so there's no grease or anything on it in order to do that I'm just gonna have to get take off all the accessories so I'm gonna take off the VVTI controller or whatever we're gonna take that off and I do want to paint this as well to match the uh, with the wrinkle as well so we want to get that matched up so we're gonna have to take it off anyway to paint it and then we can mask this up clean it up a little bit and then it will look a lot nicer. pieces for the manifold uh, if you do have if you don't have the VVTI one it's a lot easier you don't have to take as much off because you don't have this uh, these whole uh, these pieces on it right now I'm just gonna uh, degrease get rid of all the oil off just before I then before I can mask it off uh, so I'm just gonna go and uh, get rid of all this oil sitting about because the tape won't stick to that and then we can uh, go ahead and start masking off these areas taped up uh, what I want to do probably should have done tape after we done this step but I'm just gonna go if it comes off it comes off but I'm just gonna uh, try get uh, degrease it all and actually get rid of all the dirt in this time and then we can start sanding it slightly don't need to do too much sanding because it's gonna be uh, wrinkle I'm gonna be using the wrinkle paint anyway so it's not gonna need to be smooth smooth but if you were going to be using any other paint uh, you would probably want to get this uh, get it nice and smooth mask everything again couldn't have done it earlier so I'm going to just do it again mask it off and then we can begin painting with the VHT wrinkle paint
past all the areas we don't want to get paint inside and all then these little areas I'll put some tape and push it in so it doesn't uh, block the bolts when they go back in and then on all the ones that have threads I just got a or look I've got a box of all the bolts that I just uh, put on all the threads so I don't block any threads when I'm painting and same for this uh, done that all now and they are ready for paint so here's what we're using the black v, uh, VAT wrinkle so what do you want to do with this it's all nice and clean now so I'm just going to put on a few so you meant to put free on like three coats and you do horizontally and vertically each diff, uh, each coat you do so I'm just going to first put a nice light coat on first leave it a bit about 15 minutes and then do the second coat and then 15 minutes and then we'll have the third coat and then the last uh, second and third coat will be pretty thick because you need you need this paint to be pretty thick for it to be able to uh, wrinkle about two hours now and it started I may have went a little too thick on the uh, paint it's only just starting to wrinkle now since the paint is now uh, not really uh, tacky I'm just gonna go ahead take out all the as much masking as I can before it gets proper hard because then it will be way too hard then to actually take the masking off So it's been a couple of hours and it's about, it's kind of half dry and half not dry. But touch it now, it's just taking a lot longer because it's cold in here. You can actually just take all this mask off again and we can assemble all the pieces back up and then we can see how it looks then once it's all together. Everything is all back together now and it's looking good. So I've taken all the masking off. It's ready to go back onto the engine, but it's uh, turned out quite nicely. There's a few bits that aren't great, but I think it's still it's still not fully cured yet. So uh, the wrinkles not completely even everywhere, but overall it's, uh, it looks, it's looking good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back onto the engine and then that should be it for this video.
on. And that's pretty much it for this video. Nice matching, uh, matching black block and the cup valve cover. And there's still a lot more to do with this engine. So we've got to do change the timing belt and water pump and all that. We also want to clean up the, the intake manifold. Uh, but anyway, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to leave a like on this video. It will help out, help the channel out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.